Hello everybody! In this video we're going to go over selection tools for components and objects. You'll remember that in a previous video I showed you the selection tool in Maya's toolbox. With the selection tool activated I left click on the object I want to select. And I can deselect by clicking anywhere that is empty in my viewport. By holding down shift on my keyboard and then left mouse clicking, I can select multiple objects. And if I continue to hold down shift, I can deselect the objects as well. I can also use this tool to marquee select a group of objects by drawing a rectangle around what I want selected. To use this tool, you left mouse drag from one corner to another corner. I'm going to select all three bears, and then holding down shift, I'm going to click on the middle one to deselect it. Now if I continue holding down shift and then marquee select, it will invert my selection. At the end of the video, I'll show you how this can be very useful. I'm going to open up my outliner to show you another way to make selections in Maya. Left clicking the objects in the outliner will also select them. And once again if I hold down shift I can add to my selection. However this time if I want to deselect one of them I will use the control key and click it. I'm going to deselect the middle one. Another tool that we can use for selecting is the lasso tool which can be found here in the toolbox. This works like a lasso tool in lots of other software. You just use the tool to draw the area you want to select. We can use the same selection techniques in component mode as well. To demonstrate this I'm going to focus on the middle bear, so I'll move these other two back. Remember that to enter component mode you can right click on the object and select the component that you wish to work with. I'm going to work with Vertex. Notice how I can use the selection tool the same way I used with objects where I can left mouse click on what I want to select. And just like with the objects if I hold down shift I can add to my selection. Now I have four vertices selected. And just like with the objects, I can marquee select by drawing a rectangle. And just like objects, I can invert my selection by holding down shift and marquee selecting. We can also use the lasso tool to select specific vertices. And here's another technique that is specific to components. I'm going to select a vertex and then holding down shift I'll double click on another vertex. This will select all the vertices in between the two. Of course all these selection methods work with edges as well. I can left click to select an edge, hold down shift to select multiple edges, and I can also select an edge and then double click on another edge to select all the edges in between. 
and if I double click on a single edge, it'll select the entire edge loop. I will discuss edge loops in a later video. And finally, I can use these techniques on faces as well. Switching over to faces, I'll select one by left mouse clicking on it. Holding down shift, I can select multiple faces. Continuing to hold down shift, I can marquee select and invert my selection. I can also left mouse select a face and then double click on another one while holding down shift and it'll select all the faces in between. Here's something to be a little careful of. I'm going to marquee select these faces. Notice that it also selected faces on the back of this teddy bear. And notice that if I select these faces, what I can do is go to select grow, which will increase my selection. Notice that there are hotkeys for both grow and for shrink. And there's yet one more useful tool for selecting that is unique to components. You will find it in the toolbox. It is the Paint Selection tool. To open its tool settings, double click on this icon. Because I used this tool earlier, my brush is actually too large. Notice how large the brush is. I can make it smaller by adjusting the radius U in the tools. Notice that my brush becomes smaller. I can also reset this tool to its default by uh, going to its tool settings and clicking on Reset Tool. Now if I hold down shift, I can use my cursor as a paintbrush and paint my selection. This works for faces, vertices, and edges. And I can use this tool to deselect as well. I'm going to change my tool setting to unselect and I will deselect some of these faces. While I don't use the paint selection tool very often, I usually use the other selection methods, there are times when this tool can be quite useful. One other thing to take note of is that when you have something selected, you can go to Select, Convert Selection, and you can convert it to another selection type. I can take Faces and convert it to Edges, or Edges and convert it to Vertices. Remember that when you're done working in Component Mode, you should return to Object Mode. I'm going to return to object mode by right-clicking on the object and selecting object mode. Let's take a look at a way that we can use these techniques in a practical situation. I have a cylinder and I want to get rid of the faces on the top. I want to make this cylinder look like a cup. What would be the best way to select the faces at the top of the cylinder so that I can delete them? Marquee selecting them doesn't exactly work. But we'd still need to go in and select these additional faces that didn't get selected. And in addition, it selected faces at the bottom which I didn't want to select. I'd need to deselect those. I could try my lasso tool. Going to the top viewport, I'll try selecting the top 
faces on my polygon cylinder. Once again, I'd have to go and select the faces that didn't get selected. I could also use the Paint Selection tool and select the faces that way. I'm going to hold down the B key and left mouse drag to make the brush smaller. Okay, this method's not so bad, but there's a better way and it requires thinking outside the box. I'm going to go to my front viewport and I'm going to marquee select these faces, avoiding the ones on the top, the ones I actually want to delete. And now, while holding down Shift, I'll marquee select to invert my selection. And I'll hit the delete key on my keyboard, and there I go. Being able to effectively and efficiently select the objects and components that you need is really going to help your workflow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.